Hey guys, it's Kelly the Embroidery Nurse. So today we're going to embroider some hats. I adore these cute toddler hats. I have them in pink seersucker, light blue seersucker. I have some in teal and then I also have some adult hats and I love doing these. Once I overcame the fear of what was involved in monogramming hats. So there's really a lot of types of hats that you could embroider. There are like the trucker hats. These are pretty structured. So there's a lot more, I feel like, um, to go through with embroidery with these. Um, these are more unstructured that you can really kind of fold them over, but I love these. These are the cute ponytail hats where, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if I just don't wear ponytails with hats. Maybe I just don't wear hats, but they're so cute. You literally put your ponytail, which you know, hats come with a hole anyway, so I kind of don't get this, but anyway, there you go. The ponytail goes through the back. I mean, that's kind of cute, right? So a cute monogram on that. Um, I love this. Um, I'm not a big camo person, but I really do love this one. It's distressed, looks like it's been worn a butt, and it has that ponytail in the back. Um, and again, another leopard one. I love these colorful ones. I'll wear these sometimes playing tennis. Um, and then just the um, kind of vintage look of these. I like these. I have them in several different colors. I'll show you some of those. But what I love doing are these cute little kid seersucker hats. And these are what I sell most in my shop. So again, I at first was like, no, I don't do hats. No way. Nope, not doing it. Because I was kind of overwhelmed with the process. My recovery machine comes with a fancy, fancy hat driver. And, you know, if you were doing these commercially and you were having to churn out, you know, 10 hats for a team every day, this is the way to go for sure. To have the device that you can actually slide on, just the same way you would slide on your eight in one or fast frame uh, hookups on your Acoma, you add the hat driver. And for another day I'll show you how to use this because this was what kept me from wanting to do hats because this seemed overwhelming. Then you guys, I found for my simple projects, all I need was this Durky hat hoop. I love this. So for simple, just, you know, I'm doing shirts, doing shirts, somebody orders a hat, I need to do a quick hat. This is perfect. Let me show you how this works. Maybe I'll bring it up closer for you. They are made for all different machines. You do have to get the one that's specific for your machine, but this is for my baby lock machines. And I love it. So what we do, we're gonna use, you can tell already, some sticky stabilizer on the back. And we will use this to put the bill of the hat in. We'll kind of tighten it with these screws. Do, 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 do. And we have the hat kind of flattened right here, the part that we're gonna monogram. Y'all, look at that cute little ponytail, hi. Um, so let me show you how to do it. It's super fun and it really took the fear and uh, the anxiety of doing hats away. So the things you'll need, you'll need this hat hoop or a different one if you find one similar, sticky stabilizer, of course your machine, your thread, and then your design that you've already pre-printed from a Brilliance Essentials because that's what I do. All right, so I've got my hats. I actually have an order for two different hats. I already pre-printed my designs from Brilliance Essentials. They chose a spring green, so I have that color loaded on my machine, and they chose an engraved font. Not probably the font that I would have picked, but it's what my customer wants, so that's what we're gonna be working on today. Let me move these other hats. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my sticky stabilizer. This is one that I just got off of Amazon. I can link it below. I think it works really well. I like the, um, the thickness of it specifically for these hats. I'm gonna cut it to the size of my hoop here. If you do these a lot, you could have you know pre-cut sheets already cut for this size. I'm gonna peel the backing off of my sticky stabilizer, maybe. Seriously. All right, and place it on the back and make sure that it doesn't cover any of the grooves that are needed. And then I'm just gonna press down on all four sides of that. So you can see that there. It's just stuck to the back. This is the sticky side that's bum, 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 bum. Um, it's just stuck on the back there. This is a really good one. I like the thickness of this. I mean, you can tell 
you can hear and it's very taut taunt taut taunt i don't know what that word is tight you know what i mean so i'm going to take my design that we have these are the letters a s m and in a gray font what's cool about hats like this actually a lot of the hats they have a um crease can't see it can't see it way too bright they have a crease right here in the middle i can line my grid up perfectly on that crease and we'll know it's perfectly centered so that's all we have to do but i'm going to pin it i always like to pin a lot of the hats will come with like a little piece of paper on the insert to keep them in place i like to roll the sweat band out of the way and then i pin the design exactly where I want it on my hat. So here's the thing with hats. One thing that you want to do different when you are creating your design and in brilliance, you can actually in a drop down on the right hand side of your monogram, choose if you want to have it stitch left, right, center, or right, left, center, or center, left, right, or center, right, left. When you're doing a hat, it is recommended to do the middle stitching of the hat first and then work to the outside so when i set up a monogram and in brilliance essentials i pick on the right side drop down to do center right left or center left right either one of those is fine and is really doing the same thing but i want to make sure that i stitch out my center letter first and then do the sides that way it's not pulling on the hat and doesn't shift the hat it's always recommended for any hats to start your stitching in the middle all right, let me finish doing this so I have it on there straight. You're not going to be able to get it all the way down to the brim. So you want to leave a little space above. So now I'm literally just going to kind of turn it. I'm going to flatten the bill a little bit. It will mold right back. And I'm actually going to put the rim, the brim underneath You can loosen the screws if you need to, but see how I put that underneath it. So you can tighten these. Once you get it on there, you do want to tighten it. But when you're still trying to get it in place, you can loosen them so that you can shimmy your little bill of your hat straight under there. So see how that's placed? And now I'm going to do some more taping. No pinning. That's what I meant. So now I'm going to first make sure that sweatband is rolled up out of the way because I don't want to stitch on that. That would be just one extra layer that we don't need. And I'm going to, from the center out, mold this hat on the sticky stabilizer. And the goal is to get all of the area that will actually stitch flattened out onto the stabilizer. And then I'm going to use a multitude of pins just to ensure that this awkward shape doesn't shift once it starts stitching. I just don't think you can pin too much, right? Some people might think it's excessive, but if it means your project comes out beautifully, pin it, pin it and pin it some more. And that's why I like the thickness of this particular stabilizer because it does not care how often it's pinned. The real thin stabilizers can be a problem when it comes to, you know, lots of pins or lots of pressure. I mean, I'm putting a pretty good pressure, you know, on the stabilizer as I place this. I think I'll put one more on the bottom and then I'll show you what I've done. This one on the bottom I can tell is going through that thick sweat band but it is out of the way of the embroidery field so that's perfect okay let me show you a little bit closer so if you look the area that's flattened right here is the actual area of the monogram I don't care really about this area here or here or here because it's not gonna actually monogram there you do want a little lip a little edge on the side so that your machine can kind of get in place but there's there's some edge around the monogram itself so we'll be fine with that 
But if you can see from that angle, the flattened area that is pinned heavily is just the area for the monogram. All right, so now we're gonna get a little closer to the machine and we're gonna actually put it on. So we are going to make sure that we put it on the machine properly. I like to have it where the hat parts of the back are away from the machine. I'm gonna make sure it's all tightened good. Also the frame itself. I have my design. I do need to make sure because I put the hat on backwards, not backwards, but I rotated the hat that we need to rotate the design. So I am going to say okay and rotate 90, 180 degrees. I'm gonna say okay, edit. I'm going to use my grid and then it has the um, laser here. I'm gonna place the laser right over the grid. I'm gonna remove, don't forget, don't forget to remove this. I'm gonna eyeball it, make sure the area looks flat there. Make sure I have the right color picked, which I don't. I'm gonna pick color three. And now we're gonna stitch. Here we go. Y'all, how cute is that? It looks awesome. All right, let's take it off the frame. Okay, let's take it off. We're gonna just take these pins out. One pin, two pin, three pin, four pin, five pin. Yeah, this stabilizer is awesome. I highly recommend it for this project. And then we're going to loosen the screws here on the bottom. and pull it away. I don't want to tear it too much. I have another one to do, so I can just kind of piecemeal some more on top and then slide it out. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. How cute is that? I would put it on, but it's a little too teeny for my head, but it's so cute. So I hope that takes some of the fear of monogramming a hat away. This is so simple, very simpler, simpler, very, very similar two other frames that you probably already own. The only difference is the piece down here that holds the bill of the hat. Um, but you guys, you can do this. I wanna take the um, fear of it away. I do like to put this little piece back in when I mail it out. It just looks professional to me. Um, but I definitely missed the band in the back, so that's good. Um, and I think it looks great. And I like what they picked. I don't normally pick linear um, monogram fonts when it's seersucker because it just it's a lot of lines but I think this turned out cute especially them picking the um, spring green with the um, pink so I do like that so hope that helps happy stitching guys go get you a hat and again how cute is this one <laughs> Bunny tail. so there's the finished product so cute isn't it so cute I love it Aww. Go ASM. All right, now I'm going to do the sibling. Y'all have a good day. Bye.